I need to spring clean. I need to go through all of my clothes, like literally my closet, all, every single one of my drawers. Okay, we need to update all of my book stuff. I have not done that again. 22. One thing that I like about this planner is at the beginning of the month, they have like this goals page. Now we need to tackle this mess. I think it's time to get rid of them. Like I never wear them. I don't wear jeans. I need to do some spring cleaning. I need to get my life together. I need to update my notion. There's a lot that I need to do and I thought I'd vlog it. So hi, welcome to the vlog. Last month was not my month. I was sick. I was in a book slump. So therefore my surroundings have been messy. My life has been a mess. My notion, I have not updated that in a minute. There's just a lot of things I need to get in order. And we're just gonna do a lot of stuff to get my life together. I need to spring clean. I need to go through all of my clothes, like literally my closet, all, every single one of my drawers, which I'm dreading because I have not done that since last year and I know there's clothes in there that A, don't fit me, B, I don't want. And I have no room for like some of the new spring clothes I've already bought. So we gotta get rid of some clothes and actually take them to Goodwill or something because whenever I do this, I never actually take them. So that's something we need to do. And just overall get my life together. Just thought we would start by doing my notion because like my whole entire life is on my notion and if it's not organized, I'm a mess. Well, let's start with the notion. I just, I've been itching to do this. It's also April 5th. I just like, I meant to start this on April 1st. It's fine though. It's still spring. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to share my screen and we're going to go through my entire notion and organize my whole life really quick. Okay. We need to update all of my book stuff. I have a not done that again. 22. TBR. <laughs> Didn't read any, any. Actually, two, but we'll do that in here. I actually am not having an April TBR because I need a break from setting TBRs because I never stick with them and I just want to mood read this month and not put myself in a book slump. So, but I did read two off of my March TBR. So, and I did read all of these. So that's good. Next, 24 books for 2024. Did I read any of these? <laughs> oh, Powerless. Oh, I read that one. And I read that one. Okay. Yay. Any of these? No. Oh, yes. Okay, now we can check off the books I read on my physical TBR. <laughs> Oh yeah, I did buy a new book. Okay, that's that. Okay, ignore the mess. We're gonna clean that as well in this vlog. But I did just go through my Notion and then I also paid off my credit card, which I didn't show because it's a little personal. Yeah, that's that. So now I have to go through my planner. This is from Amazon. I'll have it in my storefront if you're curious. But one thing that I like about this planner is at the beginning of the month, they have like this goals page, but you can Write down your March goals, March to do's, March birthdays if you had any other important dates and reminders. So we have to mark these off. And my three goals I had for March were to hit 700 subscribers, which unfortunately that did not happen. So I guess we marked that off. Read 10 books. <laughs> that also did not happen. And then promote my Amazon storefront more, which no, that really did not happen, but I'll work on it this month. So we didn't hit any of our goals. But it's okay, we'll try again this month. My to-dos were to be more social. I think that I count that because I met new people last month. And I guess that's really it. But I was also sick. We're going to do April goals. I think I was a little too ambitious last month. Was saying I was going to read 10 books. Ended up in a book slump. So that was great. This month, I'm going to say reach 700 subscribers now. Because I'm almost at 600. So maybe we can actually get to 700 this month. I'm going to say read five books because I feel like that's a little bit more manageable and I think I'll actually be able to do that. Okay, what should our last goal be? I'm really thinking here. I was going to say like save money, but mm, there's a lot of new book releases this month, so I really shouldn't write that down. Oh, I'll say clean or I'll say go through my clothes because that is going to be hopefully an easy one to check off because I really want to do that. Okay, there's our goals. And then April to-dos, I have a dentist appointment this month, so I'll put dentist. Oh, I need to, I have to go to the bank. We'll write that on here. Maybe I'll do that this week. 
Maybe I'll do that this weekend, actually. Today's Friday, so maybe I'll do that, like, tomorrow. I really need to go to the bank. I also need to open a high-yield savings account because all of my money is in a regular savings account, and I'm not making, like, any interest. Like, it's terrible. So I've been looking into high-yield savings accounts, and I really want to open one. So that's another goal. Open high-yield savings. Okay. That feels good. Planner's done. Maybe... What should we do now? Hold on. Let's get a better angle because the stuff in the background is killing me. Okay. I found this on the web. What should we do now? Get a better angle because the stuff in the background is killing me. Check it out. Okay. Oh, I can change my little calendar that I got for Chris. Oh, April. Aw. Because I see sparks fly whenever you smile. Drop everything now. Meet me in the pouring rain. Okay. Taylor Swift's new album. That comes out soon. I'm excited for April. I don't want to go through my clothes today. Like, I need to do laundry and then go through all of my clothes. And I think I'm going to do that tomorrow. And go to the bank. I look so pale. It's fine. <sighs> Spring cleaning. <laughs> Yay. Me at the beginning of this video. So excited to spring clean. Spring cleaning. Let's do it. Me now. Yay. It's always a good idea and thought until you actually have to do it and then you're like, mm. Here's my dilemma. I have spring clothes, like here, spring clothes that I've bought that don't fit in the closet because all my winter clothes are in there. Spring clothes over here, like shorts and stuff that don't fit in my drawers because I have too many clothes. So I, I need to go through all of my drawers and go through my closet and like switch my closets. That means like you have to try things on and then you have to like get rid of things. And it's like so nice afterwards, but like the trying things on is what always gets me. Cause I'm lazy. I'm like, I just look at it and I'm like, mm, that probably fits and keep it, but I'm not doing that this time. We're gonna try things on. We're gonna actually make decisions and actually get rid of things. It'll be hard on myself. I'm gonna be like, if you have not worn this recently and you're not wearing it soon, we're getting rid of it. Oh my, oh my, keep, okay, do, when do I wear these? Like, let's be honest, never. But you know what these are good for? Okay, just hear me out. Like, my curls, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I honestly don't do that much anymore. And they're a pain to sleep in. So I will say get rid, like donate. Ugh, I, these are so comfy, but they're like capri on me. Oh, but they have pockets. They're capri. Like, they don't f go all the way down to my ankle, and that bothers me. Oh, so get rid of? Okay, honestly, I have no idea if these fit. I don't want to try them on. <laughs> I don't I don't think they fit. Yeah, they don't. They, they definitely don't fit. I'm prepared to just be like, they don't fit, and get rid of them. Like, I don't need them. I don't even feel like trying them on. That means I don't like them enough to keep them, you know? Okay, first drawer done. Down here. Ugh. My jeans drawer. Okay, my jeans drawer, which does not even open all the way. That says jean shorts in here for some reason. Probably because I ran out of room. Let's be honest. Oh, there's more up here. There's more jeans up here. Let's be honest with each other. When do I wear jeans? Literally never. Literally never. So why do I have a whole drawer dedicated to them? Couldn't tell you because I genuinely don't wear jeans ever. So I need to get rid of some. I like these. These are like my favorite pair. So we'll keep these. No. Like when am I going to wear these? Let's be for real with each other right now. I need to get rid of them. I think it's time to get rid of them. Like I never wear them. I don't wear jeans. Literally ever. Again with these. No. And they're like skinny jeans. They're not comfortable honestly. I don't know. I don't know. I have a different pair of pants like similar to these that I like. So... Wow, there's nothing in here. And then these are all shorts. All right. Oh, and my one pair of jeans. Okay, now onto all of these drawers. Oh, the first drawer are my sleep t-shirts. Do you see how many sleep t-shirts I have in this drawer? It's filled to the brim. Who needs that many shirts to sleep in? I'm just not talking about this drawer. Next drawer, PJs. We can definitely get rid of some of these. Gosh, look, this drawer opens all of the rest of the drawers. Like, 
This is so packed. These still have the tag on them. It's just because I bought them in the dead of winter and I'm cold all the time. But these are a keep. Here's all the clothes we're getting rid of. So, ouch. Here's all the clothes we're getting rid of so far. Not these. These are just there. Okay. Let's just clean up this big old mess. Okay, now's the dreaded part of going through the closet and switching all the clothes. I'm going to show you the closet, okay? So, don't judge me. Just be warned. It's a small closet, okay? It's small. I do what I can. It's actually not that bad. I expected worse. Okay, I changed the angles. I had, like, some room. But these are the first things I got out of my closet. Did I wear this at all last winter? No. I'm just not, like, a red person. But I will say it's nice to have, like, one piece of red clothing oh okay i actually do have more than one piece of red clothing so i think get rid okay all of these shirts are yes i love these all keep i'm just keeping all of my clothes I got all of my winter clothes out and now I need to put in all my spring and summer clothes. Alright, now I have to venture into the other closet and grab all my clothes. You draw me in slowly. Brown eyes stare at me boldly. I wanna take a chance on you. My closet is done. Everything fit pretty well. Ignore the bottom. We're not doing that today. I want long talks, Friday nights, kissing by the poolside. All night, all night. Two a.m. clear skies, dancing under shining lights. All night. It's time. It's time we tackle this. This, actually. We did this. This is good. Now we need to tackle this mess. Oh. Now we have this. Hi. You're cute, baby. Cause baby love, ooh, it's all another flower lay. The sun goes around the stay. Can't wait for the long day. Cause baby love, ooh, it's all another flower lay. The sun goes around the stay. 
this is what we have now. I feel like it's definitely a lot more organized and I got rid of like a lot of old stuff. <laughs> Here's the mess on my floor now, I'll show you. So, now I have to clean all this. Okay, I'm honestly so glad that I did that because clearly I needed it. Like there's stuff in there from middle school, stuff in there from my childhood. I just haven't done a deep clean of that closet or like even gone through it in years. So I'm so glad that I did that. But I think that's gonna be a wrap on all of my spring cleaning for now. I don't know, maybe I'll do another one. But for now, I think I'm gonna be done <laughs> with spring cleaning. I hope you got some motivation to go clean maybe or you just liked watching me clean, I don't know. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you really, really soon with another video. Thank you.